Good morning, everyone. Oh, I just had the most amazing talk with uh, a brother in faith of mine. Oh, he's such a, he's 75 years old and uh, deals with a lot of physical pain. Yes, and he was a soldier as well. Uh, and he's so, his prayers are, I'm trying to share them on my page, trying to figure out still how to do that because he shares the most in messaging. So it's going to happen and you guys will be amazed over them as, as I am. He just, his heart is so, ah, uh, just. What a sacrifice to carry so many burdens as a soldier on one's shoulder, on his shoulders that he carries, trying to help uh, other soldiers, especially, and not just, I mean, everyone should just, okay, all right, all right. So I came across something this morning, sacrifices, yeah, hmm. <sighs> It just amazes me on how we we depend on heroes, yeah? other hero, other people being heroes. There are several stories, kind of prominent stories of prominent people, important people who sacrificed their lives for other lives. And then they're put on this pedestal of well, that person, and then you carry some kind of responsibility for it. There's one story in particular of uh, true parents, uh, Reverend Sam Young Moon and Hak Jahan Moon. As the parents, they had a son named Hung Jinim. And Hung Jinim, he was uh, considered, I never met him, so I don't know, really know, you know, but he was considered this just amazing guy, uh, uh, you know, I mean, at the time when he was growing up, this, that, his parents were already quite well off. Uh, you know, uh, his father had gotten, again, hard work. Uh, this wasn't just all given to them, this, that, but hard work got him out of the uh, uh, cardboard hut he was in first, receiving the divine principle and then uh, teaching it. And then it just grew and grew and grew and grew. One of those amazing things where, yeah, call it a cult if you want to. A cult doesn't grow to millions and billions of people out there suddenly reading this divine principle where they're going, oh, wow, life is about what? And what do we need to do? This is our problem. Oh, restoring. Restoring what? Mainly, right, the relationship between man and woman. Okay. All right. All right. And then, yep connecting properly through the true lineage, uh, the proper lineage, then not convoluted, oh, you know, evil Satan has something to say in it, is lineage. Yeah, pretty amazing to me. I mean, that I live at this time right now, being able to be a part of that, this, to me, it's like, whoa, whoa, must have done, whoa, my lineage, my answer, must have done something right because I'm here talking about it. So Hung Jinim, yeah, nice guy, you know, so his yeah, well off and uh, so he had friends come over, they like something in his room, he'd just give it to them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My children did that too. I did that. Okay. So what's the big deal about? Oh well, it's a big thing, you know. I guess it's a big thing if you can hand out really fancy, you know, expensive toys to snap. All right, all right, all right. Then uh, uh at the age of eighteen. Um, he was driving at night somewhere, I guess, part, I don't know, did they go partying? There were four people in the car and, uh, yep, they got, were on the road and a truck veered over into their lane or something and they couldn't, couldn't get away. So the story goes that Hung Jinim, who was driving, put the car in a way so that his side would get hit. He ended up dying in the hospital, and all the, the, the three other friends survived. Then, um, this was before my time, I, I, as far as I remember, you know, before I met the church. So, 
And uh, uh, the, the, the story then from there went that, well, this was a sacrifice for the people who didn't are not listening to divine principle or they're not, you know, that, that, that was needed because of what was going on in the world, this and that. So this child of true parents became a sacrifice. Okay. This young man saved three of his friends by turning the car in a way where he would get the impact, most of the impact. Uh, when then millions and billions of people's lives are being put on his shoulders after death, that his sacrifice was then viewed as, well, it's because he would not have died if he didn't. Okay, what about everybody else then? Everybody else's sacrifice is exactly the same then? Either it is that, and he becomes the representative of all of these sacrifices, which then we have to really look at ourselves and say, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, that's not acceptable. Why are we accepting stuff like that? Then something, someone's not right because people still to this day are being sacrificed in car accidents, through sickness, through wars, through who knows what else. And uh, so they all kind of are. Oh, so what? Hyung Jun Im has a, a clan over in heaven uh, on the good side of spirit world with all them people. Are they happy? Are they happy people? How are we actually treating their per se sacrifice? We like heroes. We like them, we, especially the ones that give their lives for other people. We like them because we didn't have to give our life. Yes. Well, would we have? Well, someone like me mostly says, well, yeah, if I'm in a position like that, then I guess I would. You know, I mean, what what uh, what choice would I have? My feeling of righteousness would would, uh, you know, that that's the conduit from heaven and it would constitute that. I think that when we look at sacrifices like that of people, eh, I live because of someone else who gave their life, whatever circumstances they are, then we become responsible for those lives. We become responsible in a way where we're saying, okay, we things need to change. Eh? There, things have to change. I'm amazed on how I'm going to bring this up again on how many times I have related this vision that I had with a dying veteran and this horrible vision that opened up on children who were abused physically and psychologically in these awful, horrific ways with their guardian angels that could do nothing but just be there as stoned gargoyles kind of like they couldn't do anything due to the fact that the negative energy of the misuse of the principles of love through language, these words that people use so freely, just it was like, you know, throwing up, you know, throwing up, regurgitating, throwing up. Every time you use the F word, the MF word, the GD word, every time you do that, it's like you're throwing up, you know, all this stuff on top of someone else. Who likes to be? Enveloped in, in vomit. And it's it, that is affecting the, the weakest ones in our society, which are the children. That negative energy that people just... I can hardly watch anything anymore on TV. Anything new, this net that I'm actually would be interested in because of that. Uh, just to give you one, uh, I watched uh, uh, Designated Survivor. 
I really liked that one actor in it because he was also in 24 Hours, which also was quite good. And the first two seasons were great. No foul language, this, that. I mean, it was great. Then the third season. Oh, first episode. I'm going, whoa, what happened? Director must have changed, this, that. Suddenly, the language was just, oh, my gosh, what just happened? The quality of the show, the third, just was, I mean, it just went right down the drain. Flush it down with the rest of my poop. I watched one episode, and I said, I'm not watching that. I don't even care what else happens in that show now. Though I really liked it, wanted to see the rest, not interested anymore. So sad. Why suddenly in a good show, the third season then suddenly had to become this nasty, just as I said, I didn't want to be covered with vomit. Not neither did I want to contribute for any child to be covered by vomit. Vomit. Predators. Pedophiles. Uh, psychologically sick people who hit and beat children. Or psychologically, just because they can, with their mind, abuse a child. Uh, confuse it. You know, this, uh, okay. The guidance is not there. No guidance. So I keep asking people, please don't cuss and curse. Please, don't, just can you just not cuss and curse? Is that really such a big thing? That negative energy that is being created with it, it's, a, it, it's affecting, and it's in the realm of love. All this stuff is in the realm of love. FM. MF. What the heck? Who came up with that? And it's so widely spread. GD. What? Why would you curse something that is the most important, should be the most important thing in your life. That has nothing but love to give you. Nothing but to encourage and guide you. A mother. Our heavenly parent. And the F word. Really? That's how people like to? That's what comes out of their mind. That's how you look at the act of love. Well, no wonder you're not happy. No wonder you can't find anyone to be with, actually, in a really true sense. And really honor that heavenly interaction of a man and a woman. Unbelievable. For years and years and years and years now, I have been trying to teach, please do not cuss and curse. Please don't cuss and curse. Then when I have someone here, for example, and then they go, oh, I'm sorry. So why are you sorry to me? Your cussing and cursing isn't affecting me. But I've told you how many times on how it is affecting children out there. That negative energy where even their guardian angels can't even protect them anymore. So much of that foul negative, and I don't know what is going around. So back to sacrifice. So please don't cuss and curse. On the posts, too. I mean, some people I know really well. I'm going, ugh. I have no, no interest in seeing your posts. Well, then don't. Yeah, that's a good attitude, too, I guess. Yeah. Ex instead of, uh, then that tells me how you feel towards me. Exactly as well. Right? I have a greater good, a greater common good that I'd like to teach and exercise out there. And what comes back when we are well, then don't leave me in. Right? It's all about your selfish own self. You don't care a whit about me then either. Right? I get that. Sadly, I get it. Sadly, I get it. Of course, I'm going to keep caring. Uh, children are more important out there than any one of you who likes cussing and cursing. Okay. So I'm going to keep trying. Uh, one child at a time. So here's another one to get into that. Uh, I'd like to bring up since it's Black History Month. During the riots a couple of years ago, there was a black man, a retired black man, a retired, I think, either policeman or security guard who stood in front of the sh shop of his friend and tried to protect it from looters and rioters. And he was killed over that one criminal yeah, that everybody reveres so much, or everybody, that so many have re revered during that time. Well, it was the cost. It's not, oh, don't give me that crap. That's absolute crap, okay? 
And, uh, you know, then uh, finding out that on top, so there was no, I didn't see nobody, nobody out there protesting for the life of that one man, protecting the store of his friend. They just killed him. <laughs> Older man, worked all his life, this snap, went out, trying to do the right thing. No, no. There's no statue out there for him sitting on a bench. Or murals or this or that. Nothing. Nothing nothing at all. And yet, that other one is... Uh, the family got millions of dollars for this snat. A, a police officer, a good police officer is in jail now for, I don't know, the family destroyed this snat. That's, that, that's all okay. That's all okay. Completely disregarding that the criminal actually was, uh, 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 you know, multiple robberies, this snat. You know, pointed a gun at a pregnant woman. Oh, wow, that is, whoa, okay, yeah, let's support that. Let's support that. Yeah. Yeah, your cause is out the window. It is unbelievable that uh, on how, and no wonder then that the sacrifices that were made by good people, then somehow there is some resistance from spirit world. And, uh, yep, I, I just... I can't see on how that is teaching, how that is teaching our children as well. I just can't, can't see. It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all, except for everyone knows, any adult knows, children are learning. Once you get into teenage, well, oh, gosh, what am I saying? I was a very, very young child when I realized I had a conscience. I knew exactly what was right and wrong. I knew exactly what was right and wrong what I did right and wrong. And of course, as a child, how can I get out of that one? It, yes, with the least amount of damage to myself, <laughs> in a way, rather than taking responsibility. But as an adult, if you continuously try to get out of taking responsibility for your own actions and your lives, and the lives around you, this, that, getting away with breaking the Ten Commandments, don't give a hoot about the Lord's Prayer, this, that, well, but the thing is, what I see as a coherent, responsible individual in this world that does care about humanity, about human rights and all that kind of jazz, I have to say, you're part of the problem. You're going to keep finding ways to break the law. You're going to keep finding ways to get out of taking responsibility and blame other people for it. And, uh, and that's hurting everyone that is hurting everyone. And I know every one of you out there that I know who is like that. I know every one of you who you are. Yeah. So I'm going to go, no, I want you to realize that on your own. I want to realize that on your own, on how you are perfectly fine with children and elderly people getting killed for your cause. And you have no sympathy for them, no empathy for them, no, no, no realization on what is right and wrong. It's very sad, very sad for someone like me as a messenger of God, per se, that that's continuing without fail, without fail. There are the principles of creation and there are the principles of love. For some reason, with the principles of creation, when you include the sun and the moon and the stars and the, all the other gods and the Greek and the Romans and the, and the, and the Hindus and the I don't know, whatever, okay? The chakras and the meditation and the, uh, the, 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 the whatever, right? Every, oh, that's the, what? This spiritual and spiritual that's all fine. But when you actually bring in spirit world, right? the love of God, the principles of love that are unchanging, you don't get to change them however way you want to. You can, but you're going to cause a lot of sufferings to others. Oh, on yourself? 
Well, you obviously don't care about it. And yet, even in the principles of creation, right? If people out there really truly, well, I don't believe in God, but I do, you know, and we have to save this animal and we have to save that plant and I don't know what, and oh, and that pipeline can't go there because, oh yeah, now suddenly you care. Okay. Not realizing though that, okay. I don't get it. It's not about creating solutions. It's a, it's not th about that. Okay? It's about which would be the right way, the right thing to do. It's about creating conflict. How can I create more conflict? You know what? I'll tell you right now why anyone, anywhere, at any time creates conflict. Conflict. Against something. Right? Creating havoc. Rioting. Looting. Oh, woohoo, we have got a good excuse now. <laughs> exactly. So you have an excuse to act however you want to, regardless of the consequences to anyone else. Yeah, that's very sad. That is very sad. Yeah. And then, yeah, want to come and complain. Oh, my life, this, that, nah. your life. If you don't give a hoot about anybody else's life, per se, then why should anyone give a hoot about you? Oh, oh, but that is so, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, tough love, somebody needs to say it. This is insane what's going on out there right now, again. Just insane. There are plenty of loopholes in just about everything if uh, one has said, okay, they want to make us do this or that. Uh, and, you know, why, why, there is no need for that. Uh, like with the truckers in Canada not coming into the U.S., this, that. It's again, uh, it's about, what is it really about? What is it really about? No solutions. There doesn't seem to be someone there as a leader, as a mediator. Eh? And then, okay, we need to come to a solution. It's all about head banging. Eh? My rights, my freedom, my this, my that. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. So, okay, well, people are going to do whatever they want out there. Okay. So I'm going to concentrate on the children. Please don't cuss and curse. I've just taken another stance here. I mean, it's like one of the, okay, well, it doesn't seem to matter what I say anyway, even though I had this really profound vision so many years ago, and I don't seem to be able to get through to people. Oh, why not? Well, because, again, <laughs> why believe anything I have to say? Right? Why believe anything? If as many billions of Christians that, that, that there are around the world, and Muslims, and Hindus, and Buddhists, and I don't know. Obviously, we all have the golden rule. Treat your neighbors as you would treat yourself. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. We all have it. It's all there. So who cares? So we're supposed to, one thing that we're supposed to do is operate on the, on the from our heart to mind on the side of goodness. And we can't do that. We can't do that. If just every Christian out there says, okay, no more, no more, no more. Don't cuss around me. Don't cur curse around me. Leave. You're hurting a child out there. Oh, I'm sorry. So don't be sorry to me. There is another uh, cuss word that uh, includes children because they're born out of wedlock or something. This is, who came up with that? Wow. Well, right there. So, yeah. Are you getting it now? Am I so wrong? We have a word like that. We have a nasty word like that. People throw around whatever they want to. Oh, you are. Yeah. Really? Now I have a mom and dad. Excuse me. Yeah. So why would you say that to me? Oh, because there are children. 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 Who were born. 
And then they don't have a mom and a dad taking care of them. They're orphans. That's what they're called. Yeah. The B word. Yeah. And people are perfectly fine with that. Right there. Now, am I so wrong that that negative energy is affecting children by cussing and cursing? Am I so wrong? Just with this one word. Think of what you're doing. Think of what you're doing. I found that that's sadly, again, I have to go to the old shows of the uh, uh, Asian shows, this and that, which I would like to watch the series and this and that. I have to go to the old ones because they don't have any of that in there. But uh, but uh, sadly, that's a word that in uh, Asian countries is just one of their favorites. It's one of their favorites. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. Uh, Korea very much as well. So, uh, well, there you go. Uh, here I am again, ranting and raving. Yeah, well, at least I'm not rioting and looting, right? Just trying to talk some common sense into people. One thing, stop creating that negative energy through cussing and cursing and make children sacrifices you are so willing to make. And then you're surprised when things aren't going so well in your life. Well, So what's the solution to that? Start repenting for your cussing and cursing. Start repenting out there for the sacrifices. Ask them for forgiveness and say thank you. Thank you. Truly thank you. And then don't do anymore what you shouldn't be doing so that more sacrifices have to be made. Or maybe we can stop looking at them as that. And just realize that, wow, that was a really amazing, that Hung Jin was a really amazing person. He was a really good person. That was a good man. Too bad he couldn't get older and have children and be a father and a husband. He would have been a good father and a good husband. Hmm. Anywho. So there it is. That's all I have to say today. Oh, Daniela, where did you go today? Well, a little bit into the realms of restoration. Yes, people can join that realm anytime they want to. I think everyone that is a certain age knows, others are still being taught, that you know exactly what needs to be restored in your home, in your family, within yourself. Start there. Okay? And please don't cuss and curse. Can we just not cuss and curse? Can we just not abuse the realm of love in that way anymore. Can we just not? Please? Hmm? Not possible? Oh, okay. Simple thing. Doesn't cost you anything. And uh, if needed, go and wash your uh, your own mouth out of soap. And uh, maybe that will remind you. Huh? Yeah, that's a nasty taste in your mouth. Right. Okay. Huh? Well, you leave a nasty taste around many children vomit that you don't even know you don't know them children to snap but you're creating an energy that is attacking them where then adults around them or anything else other things maybe but it's mainly adults then suddenly there is nothing to protect these children anymore your your foul mouth your vomit uh, is taking every protection away from them children and then they get abused Physically, by pedophiles, kidnapped, beaten, killed, murdered. You good with that? Okay, well, hopefully something someday will change your mind. All right, God's love and blessings always. I will talk to you all another time.